Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing the transferring a sketch in your sketchbook to a digital painting kind of video. Um, so I'm just kind of sketching out some ideas at the moment. Not quite sure what I want to do at this point, but um, so I'm just going to sketch out an outfit that I like. It's just like some kind of, those like low rise dungarees without like the, the breast part. I really like those, I think they look really cool. Um, this isn't like an extraordinarily amazing piece with so much effort put into it. Really, I did this in an hour, which is quite a short amount of time for any art, really. Um, so don't expect a masterpiece. <laughs> this is me experimenting and I think it really worked. Um, I was really happy with it. So. Yeah, just working out a pose. Um, so the reason I wanted to do this was because I, I always see these pictures on Instagram of someone with their sketchbook open and they've got a sketch in there and it's been digitised and it digitalized, sorry, and it looks really, really, really cool. So I just wanted to play around with that idea. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm doing. Uh, this is at the where the final sketch is going to take place on this. Um, side of the sketchbook. Uh, this is something I've really enjoyed and I definitely want to do more of. There are a few sketches in my sketchbook that I am looking at now and I'm like damn I want to I want to digitize those sketches like I want to take photos of them and I want to digitalize them like there's a sketch of a woman in a dress that I want to do. There's a sketch that I did of Tyra Banks that I want to do. Like, there's quite a lot now that I'm like, hmm, I've got, I've got the digital art sketchbook bug, and I want to, I want to do more of it. Um, one of the big problems I had with this sketch is the problem that I have with bloody everything is that I always do the head too big. I always do the head too big. I don't know why. I think I really need to work on my proportions because my head, the, the head that I draw is always way too big for the body. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous and I don't know why that happens. Braids are also something I need to work on because I kind of, I know the basic way to draw braids, but that's about it and I'm kind of, I can be quite lazy about it. So I definitely want to, do more of braids. What you just saw me do there was I got my kneaded eraser and I rolled it into a sausage and then I rolled it up and down the page, which is a great way to, I guess, lower the opacity on your sketch, <laughs> if we're talking in digital art terms. Um, and then that gives you more of a base to do a second sketch layer. Um, or to do line art if you're doing line art. So for this, I didn't do line art. I suppose you could do line art if you were going to transfer this to digital. Um, but to keep that kind of authentic uh, sketchbook feel, I kept it um, with graphite. But it would be a really, really interesting and cool experiment to try and do it the other way. Um, try and do it with uh, line art, with um, ink. Maybe like for Inktober, that could be a really, really cool idea. So I'm almost finished the actual sketch. I'm gonna import it into Photoshop. Um, so I took some photos, as you can see me doing with my phone there, and then here is me putting it into Photoshop. One of the big issues I found was my lighting wasn't right. I really should have taken it outside because I have a balcony. I'm just looking over there now. It's raining, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. But I think next time what I'll do is I'll take it outside in the daylight and I'll take a photo of it there because I think daylight is going to be a much better light source than my lamp, which is quite a warm colour, so it's not like a natural colour. My kitchen would be a good place for that as well, actually, because that's quite got quite like a sunlight kind of light. Anyway, the thing I did find that helped with the light source problem that I did have, though, is that I did this interesting thing where I didn't colour the skin in. I left the skin the same colour as the sketchbook, what, what colour the sketchbook picked up. Um, I made the rest of the sketchbook lighter and... I made that kind of multiply layer 
as the color of the skin that's you know the only changes I did to the color of the skin were I changed the blush colors but that's it really um, so I really wish I could give you some kind of tutorial on how I'm doing this but I'm literally just making it up as I go along hoping to work things out as you can see I'm, I'm really trying to fiddle around a lot with with cleaning everything up and making the head smaller and doing this that and the other um, there's a lot that I change a lot that I kind of edit which is great though because it you know you can edit a sketch that's the whole joy of, of digital art yeah there's not really much else to say about it I mean we're we're coming near to the end Oh, no, we're not. We've got like four minutes left. Oh, man. Three minutes left. Three minutes left. That's all right. What can I talk about for three minutes? <laughs> um, as I said, this is something I do want to do more of. Uh, videos that I have coming up, though, I have a digital paint that, or a di piece of digital illustration. I tried illustration style and I really, really liked it. I was so happy with how it turned out. There are obviously going to be improvements that I want to make but in general I really enjoyed it and I and I am really proud of how it turned out so got that to look forward to also I did the one marker challenge which has been uploaded but I also did a one gouache challenge um which I'm looking at right now again not the best piece of work I've ever done but it's all about experimenting I'm trying to work out these socks I wanted it to be like the bright the bright white so, yeah and yeah just fiddling around oh doing the hair I did a gradient on the hair which I really liked I love gradients on on long hair I think that's such a cool thing to do um, because I am a I, I follow the trends I <laughs> I like watching that happen yeah I'm so bad at this commentary stuff. I really am. <laughs> I hope it doesn't deter you from the video. If if it doesn't, let, let me know. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a gradient on the t-shirt here because I thought that looked really cool. It's like a sunset color and it really added to the piece I felt and made it look, it gave that kind of, the, I think there were a few trends when it comes to digitizing a sketchbook piece and gradients are one of those trends I think that just if you put that on a thing it makes it look like it's part of that genre and now I'm just trying to work how trying to do some like last minute adjustments with the braid because the braid didn't look like like it should be because really the gap between the sleeve and the and the body there should have been a bit of braid there but and I did pencil it in but I completely forgot to do it again so I just moved the braid around to make it look a little bit more organic obviously the braid is doing stuff that it shouldn't be able to do when she's just stood there not in motion so you know it's whatever but yeah I think we're coming to the end of the video um, if you enjoy this please let me know and thank you so much for watching I did put this on my Instagram so I'll link that in the down bar and I'll see you guys later. Bye.